So my presidential address was talking about breast arterial calcifications and the association with cardiovascular risk factors and atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. So BAC is it's a calcification of the medial layer on, detected on mammogram. And these calcifications are different from what we typically think about vascular calcifications, which are intimal calcifications. So when you do a flat plate or an upright of the chest or abdomen and you see prominent calcifications of the aorta, for example, that's what we refer to as intimal calcifications in the intima media, uh, the tunica intima of the vessel. Medial calcifications are in the tunica media. They're more of a fine granular type of calcification. And these can be detected on mammogram in the breast arterioles, which is a very distinct appearance from calcifications in the breast ducts, which would be more associated with breast cancer. And this association with cardiovascular disease dates back to the 1980s. Um, there was a lot of skepticism at the time saying, well, this is probably just an age phenomenon, that as people age, there's more likelihood of seeing this. And, um, and so it was kind of just put to the side. Um, and as mammography has advanced in technology and as research has advanced, this interest and potential association kind of re-emerged over the past 10 to 15 years in the literature. And it was around that time that I started this study with some colleagues um, back at our institution. Um, our initial findings, um, we enrolled close to 2,000 patients and showed a, a very definite association between breast arterial calcifications and cardiovascular risk factors as well as cardiovascular disease. But then the real question was, does it matter? So if there's an association, if someone has heart disease and there are these calcifications, but you already know they have heart disease, what's the big deal, right? Because we already know they have heart disease. It may be interesting, but it may not be important clinically. So what would be important is if a patient has these calcifications, does not have heart disease, is this a predictor that they'll be at higher risk for developing heart disease down the road? And so that's what our study was looking at and what we presented. Five years ago, we presented our five-year data and at this meeting, um, we're presenting in poster format, and, and I also presented during the presidential symposium the 10-year prospective results. And uh, it did appear that in both the five and 10-year data, that those patients with BAC without heart disease at baseline did have a higher likelihood of developing both stroke and or cardiovascular disease uh, or coronary artery disease. Um, and um, so now, you know, really the question is, what do we do with it? Do, how do we turn this into a clinically applicable um, tool? And um, that's kind of what we're, where we're going next, is trying to figure out how should we use this and um, should radiologists be reporting it routinely? And if so, what will the clinician do with that information? Um, one of the ideas might be to, to try to incorporate this into a, a uh, risk predictor algorithm and, um, and then see mm -hmm. how effective is it in, in modifying the risk, predicting, risk predictor tools that we have.